you can't see her, but Cinnamon's stomach is growling so loudly right now. <laughs> Anyways, um, hello. It has been a... Am I disturbing you? And she lays back down. You still can't see her no matter which way I turn. Just ignore this little piece right here. I need to get rid of that stuff. <laughs> Room's always a mess. But anyways, I'm Jasmine. That's Cinnamon. This is my channel, not yours, but she does have one. And this is where I talk about mental health because my mind matters, so I talk about it. So, I just wanted to update you guys on what's been going on with me. Because, you know, uh, cinnamon. Hi. Hello. Wanna come say hi? By the way, I'm getting over a cold, so... My voice is kind of out of it right now, and my nose is really stuffy and runny, so just so you know. It's been a good long while since I've been able to post anything because I went on a trip to Georgia and my computer is whacked up, and I don't know if I'll be able to post this, but I'm going to try anyways. <clears throat> but anyways, um, so you know, I've been making some progress in my faith in Christ and I've really felt like that he has told me that this one thing was going to happen but then it didn't and now this other thing is happening and so I, I honestly just don't know but that's the thing Cause like, I was so sure that this one thing was gonna happen for me, and then it didn't, and it hurt so much, and I was so confused. I, I am still so confused, and 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 it hurts. It does. I don't understand. But now this other thing is happening. And so far, it's been so good. I still don't have all the answers, but right now, life is good. And what I just have to focus on here is that even though I don't understand what's going on, I know that God does. God knows what's going on. He's seen it happening. He's planned, he has it all planned out. It's all worked out already. I don't have to worry about anything. Like, if this one thing wasn't... I honestly don't know, because I thought for sure that he was saying yes to this one thing. And then it didn't happen. So maybe he's saying yes to this other thing. I don't know. I don't know yet. I just have to wait and see, because I just, I know that he has it all worked out, and that's what I gotta trust in right now. Um, but I just want to share something that I've read recently. Um, I left the cover off of it. I was going to put it on, but I forgot to put it on. But it's, <clears throat> it's a book called, um, Trust in the Lord by Dean Kinsley. Kimsley. Dean Kimsley. And, yeah. There you go. There you go. Um, <clears throat> and that's a really good book. But I just recently read this one paragraph in it. And this is what it says. <clears throat> so, of course, sometimes the plans God asks us to sacrifice run deeper, cutting to the core of our hearts. When these requests to sacrifice the treasures of our hearts come, they are seldom welcome. They can be confusing and often seem to make little sense, and they can be deeply painful. Nevertheless, the calls come from God, who descended deeper into the pit of despair and pain that any of us have ever gone, and who loves us more dearly than we can understand. And then 
The author goes on to explain this time in his life where <clears throat> he was praying for his career choice. And there was this one path that he wanted to take so desperately. And so he prayed and he wanted to ask God for a miracle. But then he surprised himself by instead just saying, um, hold on, I, I kind of feel like I want to quote this word for word, so just hold on. He said, Father, if it be thy will, I offer my career unto thee. So basically what he did was just, instead of asking for something that he wanted so badly, he gave it up to God. And he just just gave his whole decision making to him because he knows that if it's going to be his will, then he's going to get you know what he's asked for or he's going to get something better because everything that God gives us is for our own good and even if it's not exactly what we ask ask for it's something better and we just have to trust in that and I can relate to this because <clears throat> that's kind of how I've been praying as well because like I go into prayer and I'm always asking to give me this miracle, make this thing happen that I want so badly. But I've noticed several times as I've been practicing this that I've actually instead been saying, you know, so Oh gosh, Cinnamon just hit her head on on the tripod and made my camera fall, or my phone. Oh gosh. But I've been, I've been saying in my prayers, actually, that, you know, if this is what you want for me, please make it happen. But, you know... Even if, so what I've been wanting is like a companion, a boyfriend, a husband, and so on. And so that's how I've been feeling. I've been feeling like he's going to give me this one guy, but then he didn't. So I've been praying and asking, you know, like just give me someone. Just send someone to me that's going to love, honor, and cherish me. Whether it's going to be this guy or if it's going to be another guy. You know, just whoever that you have set out for me to, to be with. And, and yeah, I thought for sure it was going to be this guy. But obviously that didn't work out. And now there's this other guy in my life. And things are going so good right now. I mean, yeah. All I really have to do right now is just just in God. Because if this guy is going to work out, awesome. But I can't let myself really, you know, go into this thinking for sure that this is this is it. You know, I have to just let it all go. I just have to... Give my own relationship to God. I have to let him guide it and just trust in him. Because if it's going to work out or not, it's going to be okay. And right now, like with my confusion and everything, I'm okay. You know? I mean, it still hurts. But I know that I'm going to be okay. And right now, I am okay. She's okay, too. She's been sleeping a lot. <laughs> um, and I've also wanted to share a scripture that I found. It's in the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. It goes hand in hand with the Bible. Um, and there's this verse in 
Mosiah chapter 4 and it's verse 9. And it says, Believe in God. Believe that he is and that he created all things, both in heaven and in earth. Believe that he has all wisdom and all power, both in heaven and in earth. Believe that man doth not comprehend all things which the Lord can comprehend. I feel like I didn't quite say that right. <clears throat> but, yeah, just want to emphasize on this one part. Believe that men doth not comprehend all the things which the Lord can comprehend. So, there's your gospel truth right there. That what we may not know, God knows. And you just got to trust in that. That's all we can do. And so I kind of want to leave these things in the name of Jesus Christ and say amen. <laughs> but that's not a thing that you do on YouTube. <laughs> so... I just encourage you guys to keep praying and keep trusting in the Lord no matter how hard things get or how little your faith may seem. And yeah. Uh, happy Halloween. I wish I could get a video out. That's happening tomorrow and I still can't edit or you do anything on my computer. Yay. But I do have a job now so hopefully I can afford it soon. So anyways, um, have a super sparkly day, and I didn't say that right. Okay, uh, stay real, and have a super sparkly day, and happy Halloween.